Well, the coronavirus pandemic has led many small retail businesses to turn online to turn to online sales to stay afloat. Seven News's Christine Scarpelli has a tip hey, tips from morning, Thayer's morning. and Greenwood. They're ta taking yes. furniture and gifts from their brick and mortar store, Christine, turning them to the World Wide Web. Is that right? Online. They're doing a great job. I know it's tough to do for sure. We were looking for some businesses that were doing it well because, you know, eventually we hear retail will open back up. And in that time, uh, you're going to be able to go into the store again. But still, having that online presence can be a huge, huge help. And in fact, it really does help during a pandemic when you cannot go into beautiful places like fairs. Uh, we're so glad to have you, Taylor. Fine gifts, furniture. Um, beautiful housewares in here as well. I am so impressed with what you've been able to do both in store and then seeing you online is so fun. You've got something <laughs> unique you do, right? Well, I do um, tailor talk. Yes. And I just had to come up with something that would motivate me as well as motivate my customers. For sure. How do you go about doing things like pricing and showing the things you have available? Do you take your own pictures? I do. I take my own pictures and I um, try to group things together like in certain here's my lower level price points and my higher level price points and that way people can have a definitive idea of what they you know where they need to go what they want to purchase one really unique thing you do here which I didn't even know about was the bridal registry yes how do you do something like that and transition it online I mean that's gotta be tough yeah that, that's really tough but a, a young man named Jason Solaric uh, started a company called the bridge and they connect bridal registry businesses with small indie stores and small retailers to put them together and they provide all of the information for us so all we have to do is really have our brides drag stuff to their online registry and it works out perfect. It's, per it's perfect. But good for you for going out and finding that technology because it's not always the easiest thing to do. Lastly, if you had one piece of advice for a business out there that really wants to make this work but they're just not able to grasp it, what would you say? Don't be afraid to do it. Just jump right in, feet first, go all the way. Don't be afraid of embarrassing yourself. <laughs> People love to have real connections. Just do it. Very good. You guys are on Facebook, Instagram? Yes, Facebook. Your website as yes, well? Yes. What's your website? Um, www.thayersfurnitureandfinegifts.com. Very good. We're going to put that at our website, wspa.com. You've got to check out her Taylor Talks. They're a blast, guys. We're going to have much more throughout the morning. We'll see you soon. All right. A lot of good advice there, Christine. Thank you so yeah. much, Fred. It is 524, a live look at downtown Greenville on a Monday. You're watching Carol.